Giacomo and friends. Hey everybody, uh, this is your old pal Giacomo here, and I'm just coming to tell you a little bit about this here new game uh, that we're going to be playing soon called Merk Borg. Uh, Merk Borg is a Swedish phrase uh, that means dark fort, and it's a really cool rules light role playing game. So what that means is there's not like a ton of rules that are going to burn your brain every time you're trying to figure out what's going on. Like you don't have to know rules about how you grab things and then how you swim in things and then if you're swimming in things and trying to grab them while you're swimming in them, what are you going to do when you do that? So you know it's like all you do is you get your stats and then your stats get a modifier. And you roll your modifier plus a d20 and that tells you what your result is. And that result is compared to a difficulty rating that the GM tells you. And that's it. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a whole long and short of how to play. And that makes this game real, real, real easy to learn. And, uh, but the, the, the big thing with this game is really its theme. So it's all like really dark metal, like death metal, doom metal kind of a thing. You know, like any sort of the music that's like blah, boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, boom. You know, like that sort of thing. That, that might be like way up the Merc Borgatti. And uh, so it permeates the whole, whole whole book here you know like there's all sorts of cool graphic design in there but also like the theme of the game like all the way down to the classes and stuff so instead of having like a warrior a wizard and like bard and all that sort of thing but they have is the like fang deserter and that's like a guy with teeth and he's like your warrior dude and then you got like the esoter esoteric hermit and what that guy does is he's basically a wizard. You're a heretical priest. You get that instead of a cleric. Uh, you got... Uh, what else we got? Mm. Uh, yeah, you got uh, the wretched royalty, who's just like a dude that used to be rich, but now he's not anymore. And he's trying to like hang on to the vestiges of that richness. Um, and then there's also the occult herbalist, who uses poison. And there's also the gutterborn scum, who they're they're like your rogue guy so like you know like personally i love me a rogue so i'm probably gonna be gutter born scum really you know that's that that's kind of like if we're talking real facts that's what i'm into man all right so um my dm said that the character creation we can do a couple ways and i'm opting for way number one and way number one is to just go onto the line onto the Merkborg website and make your character there so and uh, way number two is wait for the session, then you actually can like roll up your character. So when you're rolling the character, whether it's online or if it's on the uh, in the in person, you roll three d six straight on down the line, and you know they'll be assigned to each of your different attributes. So they got uh, strength, toughness, uh, presence, and uh, agility. That's the other one. And, and those stats, whatever you put into them, are going to give you what your modifiers are. And that modifier is the only thing you need to know. And then uh, there's all sorts of, like, things in here that will help you, like, build your character. So let's go to the on the online, and uh, I'm going to quick make my character. So here we go. Merk, Berg, Merk, Berg, Merk. Alright, so all you're going to do is you're going to go to the Merk Borg website. So it's spelled like Mork, but it's pronounced Merk because it's an umlaut. And so all you're going to do once you're, once you're in there is you're going to go to that Gimme Content. And when you click that, it's going to bring you over to this, this, this page here that's got all kinds of stuff like your rules reference and your character sheet. But the thing that we're most interested in is this here thing called the Scum Birther. So this is like the way that you can really make your character as fast as possible. So all you do is you click this, this take me here, boom, and it takes you there to your character made. Like, it's done. So I take a look at this and hot dog, I got me a gutterborn scum. That's exactly what I wanted. So they give you a name, which is based on, like they have a random chart inside of the, the book. And so it, this all comes off of that random chart. 
So you get his name is Eldar. As a child, you were educated by outlaws in the hovel south of L.A. An ill star smiled upon your birth. Poverty, crime, and bad parenting didn't help either. In your community, an honest day's work was never an option. Not that you ever tried. What are you? Some kind of mug? A razor blade and a moonless night are all worth a week of chump work. Hmm. Worried and vindictive, staring, manic gaze, best friend is a skull. Oh, yeah, I like this. Carry it with you, tell it everything, you trust no one more. I, so I really like this character a lot. Um, so it gives you some facts about gutterborn scum. So these are like your, your class abilities. So presence and agility tests have their DR reduced by 2. So if normal tests are 12, yours are going to be 10 for those two things. Uh, for escaping fate, every time you see an omen, you use an omen, there's a 50% chance it is not spent. So your omens, you can use those to like make rerolls and stuff. So that's cool. And then my abilities are real whack, man. Like, I, I get bad strength and no other bonuses. But you know what? That's your, that's life in Merc Borg. Um, so over here I get what my equipment is, so water skin, some food, a club, a skull, a bear trap, a tent, and some silver. So that, that's it. And then like, if you want to print it, you hit print this one. And then if you want it in, I think that says Swedish, you, you click that and it'll put it in that. And then if you want to have like additional content, this, this uh, enable MBC content will give you some additional classes that are not in the main book. But yeah, so like, let's say I just really hated Eldar. I could do this, like just click this, click to kill this one, and it just makes you a new one. Wow, that really is easy. All right, so yeah, that's uh, basically all there is to making a character in Merc Borg. Uh, a lot easier than basically any other game I've ever played, except for like D&D Basic. So what are my thoughts on this? Like. You can do it in other ways. Like, you can actually just make a character straight from the book. And that works out fine, you know? It's really kind of neat to have an experience where just, like, you are truly born as some, like, crappy dude. And I kind of, like, want to get into that more. Like, I, I like the idea of Eldar, and I want to, like, discover more about his character. So... I'm looking forward to actually trying out the game. So I'm going to see what I can do about doing a quick little playthrough and just to kind of give you an idea. Like, not that it's that complicated. And um, we'll go from there. All right. So if you want to see more content from me as well as my DM friends and anyone else, uh, just go ahead and make sure that you click the subscribe button, comment, and like, and all that sort of good stuff. All right. I'll see you later.